What's happening YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. Today we've got another nice selection of tools for you guys to see with Rust Belt's Nifty Tools of the Week. We've got a good selection that's going to be helping you guys get through your jobs just like these ones helped me get through this week. First on our nifty tools of the week, we have our Lyle special tool. This is 64970 is going to be the part number on this one. This is for helping you guys check battery drain. Helping to check the parasitic drain on a battery is something that everybody's got something different for, from an inductive amp clamp to your meter in place. Now, one of the biggest things that we hate to do is hate to unhook the battery with your meter already in place, and maybe the battery loses connection, and then you have to wait like 20 minutes for the vehicle to go to sleep. This alleviates the issue. It has some really nice banana clip style test lead ends right here that goes into a standard meter, able to go into positive, which is uh, fused right here for you. It does have a nice 10 amp fuse, goes into your meter on either end, and then you take off your negative battery clamp, clamp the positive, clamp the negative, or clamp either end to the cable and the battery, respectively. Also fused on this end as well. When you plug this thing in, it goes ahead and it puts the power through from one clamp to the other, so the battery, it's like it was never unhooked. And then when you're ready for that power to feed through the amperage side of your meter, it's got a nice switch. You just flip the switch and it goes from being bypassed to then going through your meter to be able to test for that drain. It's a very nice tool. It's pretty robust and it's actually a really good price as well at less than $22 on Amazon. It's something that's helped me out proficiently and it's a lot better than if you were to look at this. That's what a lot of people use for checking your drains and it's something that I guess it works but at the same time big, bulky, and kind of a pain in the butt to use, I would definitely recommend this Lyle set over that. Now, if anybody knows the brand Gear Wrench, you know that they are known for having superior wrenches, and these do not deviate from that. This four-piece e-Torx wrench set is something that's been different because a lot of newer vehicles are starting to go towards e-Torx sockets and wrenches, and these are definitely ones to be able to help you out doing this. This gear wrench four-piece ratchet wrench set, which is part number 9224, available on Amazon or a gear wrench vendor or wherever you're able to find it. 72 teeth, so it's a very fine tooth set of ratchets, and it goes all the way from an E8 up to an E. 24 jumping around to the generally the biggest ones that are used in there. They are a really nice finish, nice chrome finish. They don't have a uh, position thing to be able to reverse it back and forth, but they are a very nice set. The finish on it's great. The anodized coating on the inside is very robust able to get a good grip. They are very well machined and they fit fantastic inside of, onto the uh, e-torx bolts. I would definitely recommend these. I've been using them on brake systems, especially on the newer Jeeps and uh, Dodge vehicles. They are starting to use these all the time. It's been kind of a pain in the butt, but these have definitely helped along the way. That would be a definite need for you guys getting into the automotive field. And at only $59, this is a really good wrench set that you could find to work into your toolbox. Third on our list, we've got our Huck AK-175 Pneumatic Rivet Tool. Now this one is going to be on the little bit more pricey side, as this one's going to run you right around $300 from the different vendors. But for you guys who do rivets all day long, this is a powerhouse able to take all the beating that you need. It does have an adjustable air check here on the back. You're able to squeeze the trigger right here. It does have a dual stage trigger. So the trigger right here is going to use the pneumatic power to pull the rivet through and then to release the pneumatic pressure after it extends. That's what this lower trigger here is for. The tips right here on the end are 
uh, interchangeable. It comes with three pieces, uh, different tips right here for the different size rivets that you have. And if for some reason you use up the teeth on the inside, those are able to be changed out as well. I know for you guys that go through rivets all day, every day for your metal work, you guys are gonna chew through the teeth on those things and they are replaceable on these. I wanna say they're like 34 to $40 right around there online. Otherwise, this is a very nice tool. I use it a lot for doing uh, running boards, putting the rivets in for those, being able to do, we actually had this one for a recall with Dodge before. So it was nice to use for all the recalls that we were doing day in and day out. Really robust tool. Uh, this one's gonna cost right at 302 bucks. So it's like I said, it's a little bit pricier, but for you guys who do riveting all the time, I would definitely recommend this tool for you. Last but certainly not least on our list is gonna be our endoscope by Tess Long. This one is gonna be on offered on Amazon and it does have a full digital clear color screen right here for you. It is able to go through quite a few different functions, able to flip the picture as it's being used. And then what I really like about this is it's got over a nine foot long lead and it's very capable, it's very strong. I've been using this for about two weeks now and it's something that I really enjoy. Before I had this one, I've had two other endoscopes before and I've spent more and I've spent less. Before I purchased a $78 one off of Amazon and you know, it worked. It had a four foot, three and a half, four foot end, and it was capable, but I really like this one. The other biggest thing I like this for is that the ends on it. It is a very strong end. Now this end right here is able to be threaded off. I don't know how well this is gonna pick it up, but this end threads right off. And then the end right here is actually a threaded fitting. Inside the attachments, comes three separate ones. You've got a hook tool, a 90 degree mirror for looking into the cylinder walls and checking for scoring, and then a magnetic tip end. So it's able to thread onto there and still have a nice strong magnet on the end. I actually just used this one today. So it's got a very nice set for that one. The battery life on this one is pretty decent. It's lasted right around three and a half hours of battery life. Plus this one is able to make recordings for you as well. Able to record video or single still pictures. It's able to keep those stored inside as, as uh, on the memory. It does have a light on the end, three stages of light. So it's able to light up wherever you're needing to be. The settings you're able to set to be able to put your date, timestamp and everything on the pictures if you're looking to send those out to outside sources. It's a very nice endo endoscope, especially for the money guys. These endoscopes usually are pretty expensive, but they've come down in price a, lo a lot these days and Tess Long has done a really good job at doing that. Now, this one is not gonna be the highest picture quality endoscope that you guys have or that you guys can see. It's not gonna be shooting in 1080, but it's gonna get the job done. But at 113, 114 bucks, this is one of the best buys of endoscopes that I've found to date. It's very capable, it's very robust. Like I said, the cable, it's 9.2 feet long and it is uh, able to be taken off and changed out. So if you guys do damage this for some reason, you guys can just get a new cable end. It's a very nice endoscope. I would definitely recommend this one for you guys, especially if you're in the, in the automotive diagnostic field, looking into the cylinder walls, looking down into uh, little crevices so you don't have to take things apart. It's a very nice thing to have in your toolbox. I would definitely recommend one of these. Now in keeping with good form and shouting out some of the smaller channels that I've found around our community, I would like to keep that going this week. And the one that I would like to shout out this week is going to be Craving Cars. Craving Cars is a smaller channel. He's got awesome video quality. He goes around and he goes to a couple of car shows. He goes around to track days. And did I mention the video quality that he's got? He's got camera equipment and audio equipment that make mine look like a cheap PBS show, you know, but you know what? A cheap PBS show would be pretty good. We'll just say this guy does a really good job. I'd like to keep on promoting the smaller channels in our community because it's something like channels like his, they just don't get promoted enough for what they are. They haven't got that one chance to shine. And the guy is over at Craving Cars. He does a fantastic job. I would definitely recommend for you guys to go check him out. 
He's gonna wow you every single video. I would definitely give him a thumbs up. Go give him a subscription today. Well, that's about all I've got for you again today, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Rust Belt's Nifty Tools is gonna be a segment that I'm gonna keep on going on from week to week. That's something that you guys have told me that you really enjoy, getting to check out neat new tools like this one that help me out in my day-to-day -day work and could possibly help you guys out as well. If it is a video that you liked, make sure you go down and hit that thumbs up button for me. If not, hit the thumbs down just so I know how I'm doing in these things. Hit the subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you get notified when I come out with cool awesome videos like this. Don't forget, Toolheads Crate only has three days left, guys. Only three days for you guys to get on the Toolheads subscription crate service. It is a tool automotive oriented subscription crate that you guys can get on a month by month basis. You guys won't know what's in the crate, but I guarantee it's gonna be automotive, tool, technician related, everything in the box. It's gonna be a great value for what it is at $35.99 a month. Make sure you go and check that out. Get yours in today. Thanks, I appreciate everything you guys have been doing for me. And as always, you guys stay awesome.